Hello YouTube, Ugly Prepper here. I've been messing around with uh, learning how to edit videos uh, this morning. You may have seen my dummy video that I made and chopped it all to pieces. <laughs> but uh, that's sometimes that's what you have to do to learn how to do something. Uh, it won't be up for long. I'll delete it here after a while. But um, Wanted to talk today. I saw Grim out in the woods today. Um, not, not a good day to be out in the woods here in Alabama. It's rainy and cold, and I mean, you know, uh, I'm a, I'm a child of the sun, Jesus. But I love the sunshine as well. Uh, so typically on days like this, I'll find something to do in the house. There go this video. Uh, today I want to talk to you about Rocky. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, I know what old man. He's seven years old. He don't want to get up. Hey, buddy. But, uh, I wanted to talk about our pets a little bit today. I've got, uh, uh, Ripper's outside. He's on, uh, he's on duty. Let me see if I can get him in the camera. I may not be, can be, but there he is. Yeah, my arm's in the way. There he is. Um, but yeah, Ripper's outside. He's on uh, patrol duty. <laughs> he just wanted to go out, so I let him out. And when he's out there, he's a, he's a good protector. He's very protective of me. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, uh, put some sheriff deputies on the run a couple times and uh, bit some people, so he's, you know, he's a pretty good provider. You don't want to be out in my yard uh, at an inappropriate time. You just, you don't want to be out there. But uh, talking today about uh, pet medications. I know it may be hard to see. Let me get it up here. This is Next Guard. Um, and I don't have the box for these, but these are heart guards. If I can get it up here where you can read, it's heart guard. It's heartworm preventative, and this is flea and tick preventative. Uh, my dogs are on both of these medicines, and uh, well, you know, wanted to talk about prepping for our pets. Or you know, they they bring so much joy in our lives. Uh, I live alone. These two guys, my dogs, they uh, they keep me right up here, you know, in a lot of ways, and. Uh, they're always doing something stupid and making me laugh. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we need to make sure we take care of our pets and our preps. Um, and if you have dogs like mine, uh, well, Rocky to me in particular, the Border Collie does not like taking pills, even though they taste like meat. He's, if it, you know, if it ain't on my plate, he won't hardly eat it. So, we use these pill pockets, greenies. Uh, these are peanut butter flavored. He loves peanut butter. So, um, yeah, we need to always uh, remember to prep for our pets. Um, remember to prep canned dog food, uh, not dry. I usually keep about a month's worth of dry dog food around here. But when it comes to prepping uh, canned dog food, and I've got flats of canned dog food in there, and my leg hurts, I'm not going to carry it in here just to show it to you. You know what can uh, flats of canned dog food looks like. So always prepare uh, prepare for your pets. Getting this stuff because it is by prescription uh, to try to get a good mess of it is hard. They won't hardly let you do that. Um, I mean, like the most I can get is six months at a time uh, because it is prescription. But, uh, you know, don't let them run out of their medicines, if, if at all possible. Um, saw Grim in the woods today and uh, brought up a, a subject of, of mine. I don't know if y'all can see it in this bag, but in this little bag here, I have char cloth. The bag is red. The char cloth is black. But, uh, are you okay, son? Rocky's coughing a little bit. I think he just went and got him a drink of water. Uh, but yeah, a lot of times when you can't get nothing else to start, char cloth is the way to go. And I'm sure Grim already knows this. Um, but sometimes you can use this to get your fire starter going. Or you can use this to get anything else going. Uh, 
you know, you can take your ferro rod here. I'm not going to do this in the house, but you know, y'all know what a ferro rod looks like. Um, you get your ferro rod and you throw a spark off in there and you have to really pay attention uh, because you may think you missed it, yeah, but there'll, there'll be one little ember in there burning and it won't be a flame. It's going to smolder at first. And then you take and you blow on it and add a little air to it and whew, you got a flame in no time. And uh, so I wanted to talk about uh, learn how to make your own char cloth. Uh, it has to be 100% cotton, whatever it is. It has to be 100% natural or it will not make char cloth. It'll burn or it'll melt or it, it's, you know. So, um you basically take an old, like an old can, uh, something with a lid on it, like an Altoids can, preferably something a little bigger than that so you can make more of it at a time, but uh, you stick a hole in the can and uh, you just basically start a big fire and you put the can in there and just let it all burn. And uh, after you've got the can all heated up and you give it about, I give it about 10 minutes to just burn down scoop it out of the fire let it cool off and inside will be char cloth i want to talk about that um this is an old pill bottle i keep these things i don't throw these things away because you can put um fire tender in them uh, thought that was a maybe a good little tip uh this particular one has uh cotton balls and vaseline in it but you can put dryer lint in them, you know, dryer lint's good fire tender, and it's a waterproof container, you know, um, keeps it dry. I just thought that'd be a, you know, a tip for uh, people prepping on a budget. Also, I want to show you my flashlight that I just went and got out of my bug out bag. This is why we go through our bug out bags. This one don't work. I've got to replace the batteries in it. Uh, so yeah, this is why you check. Uh, this is why you check stuff in your bug out bag from time to time. Because this light was working when I put it in there. I've got to put some new uh, triple A's in there, it looks like. Um, this is not my primary flashlight. This is an extra one I had. That's why it was in the bag. My primary one I carry in my pocket every day. But, uh, yeah, so I've got to put batteries in that flashlight somehow or another. And, you know, I had the uh, I had the back backed off a good ways, you know, in case the button got mashed. But um, apparently uh, the batteries went dead anyway. So, yeah, always a good idea to check your, uh, I call mine my survival bag. It's over yonder because uh, it's very small. It's a little red rock. Uh you know, sling, it ain't nothing huge, but, um, what's my scanner going off? A lot of, a lot of scanner stuff going on today. People don't know how to drive on wet roads, I don't guess. Uh, but anyway, those are kind of the things I want to talk about today. Uh, you know, when you get a good day, get out there and do like Graham did today. That's why we practice, um, Get out here and practice, you know, making sparks with your, uh, there we go, we got a spark in there, uh, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, there we go, so yeah, but, uh, you know, practice, uh, making sparks, that's something you'll, you'll have to know how to do, but it stinks in here now, uh, but that's why we practice, uh, you know, you don't just buy all this stuff up and, and put it in a corner one day and just, well, if it ever, something ever does happen, I'll have it. Well, yeah, you'll have it, but if you don't know how to use it, that might be something important. You might not want to be learning how to use new, new items when the world's crashing down or if you're starving to death or whatever, but, uh, Want to talk about those few things. Um, I've been in touch with uh, the Alaskan Prepper. He's got my email. Thank you, B. Charman. You, you helped out so wonderfully. Uh, I won a one ounce silver coin on the Alaska Prepper's channel. So can't wait to get that thing in here and add it to my coin collection. 
of my silver and coins and stuff I have piled up. Um, so thank you, Alaska Prepper, for all you do. Uh, anyway, y'all, try to have your hearts and your minds prepared for the end game. Uh, you know, have your Bible, read it. Read it like Grim Survival says to. Read it from front to back. But, uh, I don't know what else we want to talk about. Oh, Gun Owners of America. You do not have to uh, own a gun to join Gun Owners of America. Uh, since the NRA has kind of went to... Uh, I have joined Gun Owners of America and... Um, let me see here. They are a very good gun rights advocacy group. Um, they have bumper stickers. It's not a right, it's a privilege. I've got one, another one up there that says guns save lives. I've got one on the fridge in yonder that says fight crime, shoot back. Uh, <laughs> so they have t-shirts and bumper stickers and uh, regular GOA stickers. Y'all go over there and buy something out of the store or uh, join uh, Gun Owners of America. They're fighting the battle for us. They're trying to keep the Democrats at bay as best they can. So join them. Uh, I have, and uh, you know, you can even give over, uh, you know, you can join and then even give over that. They're not gonna send you a magazine every month. Uh, they're not like the NRA. If it, they're not gonna give you a free gym bag or a free whatever uh, for joining. This is, it don't work like that. All the money goes towards the fight up there in Washington. So, uh, so y'all go and join them. They don't pay me to say that. I, you know. But yeah, join the Gun Owners of America. Very good group. Also, um, wanted to talk. Uh, if there's anybody out there, I'm thinking about trying to be a product tester uh, for uh, camping and survival items. So, if there's any companies out there, send me some stuff. I'll uh, send me an email. Um, you'll have to look for it because it's not on all my videos, but, uh, I have an email address out there and, um, it's rogerglock44 at gmail.com. Uh, so it's out there anyway. Might as well put it out there. Send me an email. Send me, I'll give you my address. You can send me some products and I'll do a test here online. And if it's bad, I'm going to tell you it's horrible. And if it's good, I'm going to say it's good because that's the way I do things. I don't lie for money. I don't lie for free products. That's not me. But uh would like to do that. And I've uh, been learning. Again, I think I said something about that already. About uh, doing the stream yard and trying to learn how to be on people's... Uh, when they interview people on other channels. I've been doing some of that a little bit. Um, but anyway. Hope everyone has a blessed day. This video is going long. It's going to be a long one. 13 minutes or something already. So, yeah, maybe I can uh, do some editing, and it won't be that long. Uh, so, appreciate all my, my subscribers, new subscribers that's came in. Y'all, I know I don't make a video every day. If it's pretty outside, I'm going to be outside. Uh, my dad is in his 70s. He needs help a lot of times. He's been working on a tractor down there. I've been helping him, or... You know, if he, you know, if I can help in my current situation, but uh, I can hand him a wrench and, and or a flashlight, or stuff like that. Uh, but uh, he's been working on a friend of his tractor, and so, and even if he don't need my help, I like to go down there and just kind of make sure he ain't doing something super dangerous because he will do that. Um, Y'all have a blessed day. It's a cold. Uh, I think it's supposed to be. There's a ripper supposed to be 51 degrees or something like that today and, and and you know and that's not cold but maybe it's just my age but uh when it's damp like this it just makes me even colder when it looks damp and dreary it just makes me feel that way too y'all have a blessed day i know i don't said that three times but uh check your bug out bags look for items that don't work like the flashlight um 
make sure your big lighters work check those um prep for your pets make sure they're taken care of you know um make sure you buy or try to keep as much of their medicine on hand as they will let you it kind of bothers me that i can't buy multiple boxes and stuff but uh it's a prescription thing i guess um and you know people are stupid nowadays i guess they they figure if they sell somebody five or six boxes and this stuff ain't cheap y'all this box right here is probably 40 bucks uh but Alabama summertime, my dogs have to have it. They have to have that uh, flea and tick prevention and heartworm prevention. And that's why I only have two dogs because I can only afford to take care of two dogs because I take care of my dogs properly. Um, and if you can't afford to take your dogs to the vet every year and keep their prescriptions going and all that, you shouldn't have one. That's not going to be popular, but it's my opinion. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. Have a great day. Prep something. Been vacuum sealing a lot. So uh, I've been learning and gaining some knowledge on vacuum sealing. And, uh, I'm out of here. Ugly prepper. God bless.